guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is Waga, and we are going to continue with our series on Swift UI. As always, um, if you're new here, uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. We have great content, particularly if you're interested in Swift UI, React, and uh, Flutter. Several tutorials on that on those subjects coming up or already on the channel. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on the spacer. And um, yeah, we're going to work on the space and the space that basically pushes things away, depending on whether you put it in, um, in the V stack, where it pushes things up vertically, and uh, H stack, where it pushes things horizontally. This, is, this as, all, as all things is best seen rather than just talked about. So why don't we do it right now? Okay, so we could come here and say, um, let's say, uh, let's create a V stack first. Let's create a V stack like so, a V stack, and um, in it we're going to have some text, and the text is going to have the word spacer like so, and uh, it's going to have a font. The font is going to be uh, you may have guessed it, title, and it's going to be in the middle because, of course, it's going to be in the middle, and um. And underneath that, we're going to have another text, and this is going to be, um, we could say, spaces, create space, either vertically or horizontally, like so. And um, what we could do is we could come here and we could... Uh, we could um, we could show it with images, right? We could come here and use one of the San Francisco images, images, and we could put uh, come here and say system name, system name, and in the string here we're going to say uh, we could say arrow dot up dot circle circle like so, dot fill, like so, right? And after that, we are going to put in a spacer, which is going to push everything up, like so. And then we're going to put another, uh, we could copy this. We could just copy this, come here, copy, come down here, paste it, and it could be, this could be the down arrow, like so. And then after that, we could have the text here, and this is going to be space, 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 like so. So you see, um, the space that has created space between this content at the top and the content at the bottom, right? Yeah, so that's what the spacer does on the V stack. And next up, we're going to see the spacer in action in the H stack. Next up, we're going to do the same, but we're going to do it for the H stack. So we could come here and we could get rid of this. And we could come here and say H, H stack, like so. And in the H stack, we're going to have a text. And um, in the text, we're going to say space. It's going to be the middle, because of course it is. And after that, we're going to have an image. We're going to use a San Francisco image, SF image. And um, we're going to have a system name, a system name. The system name is going to be, uh, okay, arrow dot, we could say left, um, left dot, put it in a circle, and then fill it up like so. And after that, we're going to have come down here and put a spacer so we can see the space like so. You see it's being pushed to the other side and at the other end, we're going to just copy this text so that we can show space. And copy. Oh, we could copy this first two lines like so. Come here, copy, come down here, paste and um, yeah, and um, this this should come before, right? Come here, tat, like so, come here, paste, and we say here, right, like so. 
So we create a space between these two. And yeah, basically that, that's what the spacer does. It creates space between uh, the two um, the two views in the H-stack. So this is the, you can see this is the H-stack and the spacer has created space between them. So basically that's what the spacer does in the H-stack. Continue. Spacers can be useful in um, spacing things either evenly or relatively uh, compared to others. For example, if we have a list, let's create two lists, right? And um, we could have two, two lists next to each other. So we could put them in a H-stack. Let's call it a H-stack like so. And in the H-stack, we are going to have two V-stacks. So we could have a V-stack here and another V-stack here, like so. And um, over here, we're going to have um in this uh, v stack we could have a uh, text text is going to be let's call them names and it's going to have a modifier of font and it's going to be large title as you may have guessed and um we're also going to underline it let's underline it why not like so and then after that, we are going to have text within it. And um, we could have a couple of names. We could have a bunch of names. And um, the text here is going to be, let's say, Waga. Let's say text here is going to be um, Odongo. Text here is going to be um, sorry, and text here is going to be oh we know like so. So we have four names, and um, we are going to come down here, and uh, we could have their numbers. We just copy this, and yeah, copy come down here and uh, we could paste it and we could say um, we could say the names are going to be uh, the text is going to be no first the text here is going to be uh, numbers so numbers like so and the number is going to be one and this is going to be two this is going to be let's say three and this is going to be four. Now, um, if we want, if you want to make it look a bit, a bit better, um, we could put spaces between them so that they look. Um, they would look a bit better if we put spaces between the stacks. So first things we could do is come here and say spacer, like so, and we put space between them. But then they are on the edges, and to cover that, we could put a spacer here, so that we can move this in the middle. And after that, uh, do the same, come down to the end of this um, and put a spacer here, like so. So now we have equal space between the two columns, right? So relative to the width of the screen, we have equal space between the columns and the names and the numbers. It could be any view you want. So you could use it to maybe space things evenly or relative to others. Using the spacer, you could put as many as possible. It will divide the space evenly, right? Okay, thank you for watching. That was a bit about Spacer and we'll continue from there. Uh, have a good day.